that the two days that you decide to film you're wearing the same shirt on both so it just looks like you don't wear anything else <laughs> because me right now and I'm going to be filming two videos right now so it's going to be like three videos in a row in this freaking shirt anyway <laughs> Besides the point. So I'm clearly in a different house right now because it is way cleaner than mine would ever be. Just this wall is cleaner than any wall in my entire house. So recently PS of Sweden on the 1st of March released Rider Wear. And I was very interested in this because I really like PS of Sweden things. And I thought this would be really cool to try for you guys. So I bought one immediately on the 2nd of March because it's different for us than for them and as I was selecting one of the items that I was most excited to get I put it in my car and then I had to drop my boyfriend off to a doctor's appointment because he can't drive at the moment and so I dropped him off and by the time that I went to confirm they had ran out of my size so that was just excellent so unfortunately I had to get two other items instead I wanted to get something for the top of your bottom and something for the bottom of your body. So I just got two items because they are quite pricey because they're very good well-known brand. So I just got two items and I thought I would unbox them and give you guys a first impression. It was received today on the 14th. I ordered it on the 2nd so they were freaking fast posting it considering how many they would have got, how many orders they would have got in that time. As well as the very fast shipping from Sweden, they also don't charge anything for shipping which I find just like incredible that they both have really fast shipping and also it is free. And I have bought once from them before at the Boxing Day sales and I couldn't believe once again that I didn't have to pay anything for postage or shipping. And it arrived very quickly considering it was a sale and they would have got a lot of orders at that time. So, that being said, let's get into it. Got me a trusty pocket knife on my keys. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. So we have cardboard. We have more cardboard. Whoa. Okay. Also, I forgot to say that I also got some curb some curb reins when I ordered it because I realised that I forgot to get curb reins when I got my other ones and I got them rolled as well in the same colour brown and I also got a brow band because I want to use my other one for another bridal. Oh so nice. This one is like a navy and silver. Usually I'd pick gold but I don't know I just quickly grabbed it because I, I didn't want the right away to run out while I was getting it. I assume this will be the invoice. Don't really want to look at that one. So, the first thing to note is, oh my god, they gave me it in brown. That's such a good idea. So, they give you an elastic belt with your order, like the first however many orders that spent over a hundred and something on right away. Uh, they got a belt with it, so it's really cool. It's got the PS of Sweden belt buckle on it and then it is elastic and it is basically one of these belts that like anyone can fit into literally and it just like stabs through like that and these are pretty much everywhere a lot of places have them but this looks like a very good supplier that has done this that's interesting this thing like holds it so it's not it doesn't like move along the belt except when I'm like reasonably small in the waist there's gonna be a lot hanging out <laughs> but yeah that will look really cool with literally any of my breeches now we have the jacket so this looks very cool Wow, they only established in 2011. That's like not that long ago, considering how well they do. It's only like seven years. It's not long at all. Oh my god, it's mesh. How cool is that? It's like super lightweight, this jacket. That's going to be so good for Australia. So I got it in 32. And 
come rain or shine, we will always have your back. That's cute. On the tag. And then it's got zippers in the front. As you can see. There. Oh my god, this sunlight though. Cringe. And then that is the top of it. And then this is how I knew they were established in 2011. That is the tag on the back. Est. And then they've got this metal thing on the side of the arm, which is very Equiline esque. I do, if I do say so myself. But they've probably they're probably like good mates with Equiline or something. So now we have the breeches or what? I can't remember if these are the breeches or the breggings because they have like a legging cross breech with a, which they decided to call the bregging, which is I was thinking bregging, or what would it be? Leech. Oh my god! Imagine if it was like leech. It's like I'm gonna call it leech, not bregging. So it does have belt loops and it has like a huge bit at the front here. This lighting, oh girl. We not looking so good. The waistband is super wide and it's got belt loops and then it has pockets at the back on the bottom which I love right now and then it also has side pockets and then oh that looks so good it's like almost like emboss I don't know I know they called this sort of thing embossing in leather but I have no idea what to call it when it's fabric but it's like raised up P.S. of Sweden, established 2011. Then it's got knee patches of silicon with the P.S. logo, the circle logo. And then it's got the sock bottom with this round bit, which is always more comfortable than just straight across. Myself and my friends have found. And then it's got like a little mesh kind of vent bit there. And on the other side as well if you didn't see before. So I'm going to try them on now and see how they fit me. Okay, so this is what we got while I'm wearing them. They're super wide in the waistband for sure. And I really like this bit down the leg. It looks really cool. Big pockets and then the sock bottom. So that's what they look like on me. They are very tight. Definitely suggest they did say on the website going up a size and I think I actually did go up a size and these are still super, super tight. The silicon there. But yeah, I do really like them. It's going to be interesting to see how they ride in. But yeah, they are super fancy and I really like the pockets at the back, that's for sure. Just was putting the jacket on and found this. And that's so cute. It says, we believe in daring to push limits and we believe in thinking differently. Your success is our success and we are more than happy to have your back come rain or shine. So this is the jacket on me. It's definitely a very cool jacket. You can actually see my bra through there. <laughs> bit of lacy racy. That being said it's quite warm in here and I'm very warm in this jacket and as you can see it's got a pierce everywhere and this is the belt. I forgot to say that I put that on. I might bloated because I have eaten some KFC just recently. I do like this neckline. I didn't think I would because usually I don't look very good in them and I do like this little metal bit on the arm or on the shoulder. I really like the lace panels, they're really cool, or like the mesh panels, I really like them. I will say that the zip doesn't seem super high quality, so it'll be interesting to see how it lasts. Oh, you can make it like super racy, like fold these out, or you can be like, I'm a conservative bit. I think they ran out of the brown, so that's why I got navy of both but yeah I really like them and I'll be putting them to the test and riding them quite often so I'll see how they last but so far I really like them and I will say that these definitely fit very small so definitely go up a size or two and yeah <laughs> So 
last time I filmed this about two weeks ago, I filmed it, I was editing it, and then I was like, oh yeah, they were going to restock today. You know, I'll just go on there just to see for some reason, just, you know, see if they still have my size out of curiosity. And then I bought another thing. I bought the breeches that I wanted. I can't actually remember the name, but I'll put it up here now, the listing on PS of Sweden. So I've now officially spent quite a bit of money on PS of Sweden. So this is the item that I originally wanted like the most, but then I didn't get to buy, as I said earlier. So I bought it when they restocked, the day that they restocked. I don't know if it's in stock right now. I assume their restock was quite large though, so I assume that they would but I'm not too sure. It's best to head over there yourself. Today I'm going to be looking at the items that I also got previously and kind of give you a two week update because I've worn them a few times now. I know how they are, how comfy they are and everything like that, as well as opening the new item. I'm going to be putting this on today as well. These breeches. Oh, I got another belt. <laughs> so this once again, it is the same belt. It is, again, in brown. Like so. I can't remember if the other one was gold or if it was silver. Well, you guys would know because you just watched it in the video. Thank you for your purchase. Congratulations. It doesn't say how much they are. Oh, 219 USD these were. So they cost around like $300. Australian or slightly less perhaps so they are quite expensive but we'll see if they're worth it oh my goodness oh my god these are so nice they're so classy oh so what size did I get I got 32 the others I got were 34 and they were quite snug on me they said the other ones that were 34 ran small so you should get a size up so I got a 34 they said these ran a bit big so get a size down so I got a 32 hopefully and I think this is the smallest size they do so hopefully it will fit me so as you can tell they've got a really nice big waistband and then how cool is this it's like faux leather around the pockets that looks so fancy so like that and then the thing that sold everyone on these pretty much is the silicon is leaves. They look a lot brighter on camera, but they're quite dark brown in real life. But oh, and they feel so nice. You can definitely tell the quality difference between these ones and between the ones earlier in the video. These are just stunning. They've also got the faux leather around the top there and the back pockets, as you can tell. The thing that I'm eh about is they've just got a straight bit here where the kind of sock bit is. Uh, usually it's more comfortable for me at least and for a lot of my friends that I've spoken to to have like one that's shaped a bit differently because this kind of cuts into your leg when it's straight. But that being said, this is their first launch of right away so they're doing so so well. They've really launched into it really nicely. I know how difficult it is to go into something that you're not so familiar with and get the right suppliers because some, oh boy, they just, it's, it's a mess. And then you're like, I spent like $500 on these samples and they look like shit. So, <laughs> so yeah. And then they've also got these three little seams on the knee. And I'm going to put these on for you right now. <laughs> okay, so I've put them on now and they were a little bit difficult to put on. They aren't super great for taller girls. I am quite tall. I'm about 5'9", 5'10". They're a little bit not long enough for me. So they'll look fine when they're on. It's just when you're a bit tall for things because the crotch area just wants to creep down and you have to kind of like hike it up and be like yeah <laughs> like you have to like really stretch your legs and like stretch into them so that might be something that will come like they might like conform to my body better 
but right now they're like eh, eh, borderline not the most comfortable brooches that I've put on my body. I do like how thick the waistband is. It like kind of sucks you in. It's not completely high rise because this is my belly button. And when things are high rise, they're like right on my belly button. But these are like just below. And I really like the rise of, the thing I find with high rise is they look good when you are wearing like a t-shirt or something. But when you're wearing like a polo, if it's like, something that you want to wear at a clinic or show it can look a bit weird when you're riding because it's just like a shirt and then like really high up is suddenly like a pair of breeches and it just looks a bit strange it looks like your upper body is so much longer than it really is i once had a pair of competition breeches that came up to like here and it just looks so bad in photos and stuff like that so this is a really good high rise but not too high moving down I know you can see my underwear line probably really badly because I just don't care <laughs> because I don't have invisible underwear on today but yeah I really like how they fit my leg it's set for this crotch area that just wants to keep moving down because they're just a little bit short for me but that being said they are really comfortable aside from that and I do really like these pockets they're like fairly deep they're not super easy to get your hands in but these would be really good for your phone I find when there's pockets like two here they just like don't really fit anything in them I like this seam line down the front I wasn't sure if that would make it slightly uncomfortable I've already got dirt on them horse rider life if you are any taller than me like I have a good friend or two good friends that are six foot one and they ride they probably wouldn't be that comfy in these but if you're like slightly taller than me or if you're shorter than me you'll be fine with these these would be really comfortable so yes guys that is just opening these up and putting them straight on but I'm now going to check in with the other two items that I bought and kind of say what exactly I think about them after wearing them around probably I've probably worn them about three times in two weeks and I'll kind of let you know what I think of them yeah okay I've filmed this video in literally three different places but whatever so I'm still wearing these brooches because once they're feeling good now they're definitely molding molding to my body better I guess so I'm gonna talk about these ones these Jegging, what do they call them? Bregging, beggings, breggings. So these I really liked them when I first wore them, and I really like how they like suck in. Oh yeah, fat. They're a bit higher rise than these ones. You can like really feel them when you're sitting down, like when I'm driving. I can really feel them like sucking in this part of my stomach. They really are quite high rise, but I do like that in these particular ones because they're like more like leggings you wear them with like a shirt like this and it just looks more normal than if you were wearing like a polo or a competition shirt with like high-rise breeches it's like wearing high-rise leggings like sports people do or like fitness people do now what I don't like about this as you can see this waistband is very small compared to your hips are very roomy it really sucks in your stomach so it's good but it's also almost a bit much like particularly when you go to the bathroom it's almost hard to pull these off because they're just so tight around the stomach area it kind of feels like you're wearing Spanx <laughs> that's what I notice which when you're wearing them it's like fairly comfortable sometimes it can kind of be almost a little bit too much around your midsection if you've like eaten or whatever else but I think that is worth it for how nice it makes you feel around here like how it makes you feel very like taut in your stomach and stuff so this one the jacket once again I will show you the mesh how see-through it is like it's entirely see-through and then like one half of the arm is exactly the same like that's like super mesh and then this is literally just like nothing material so it's not super hot well it's not warm at all it's almost as if you're just wearing a vest a very aerated vest as well with just like 
the superficial looks of wearing a jacket. I don't like the look of vests on me very much, so this is really good for that. And it's not like you can ever really get sweaty under the arms or anything because it's so much mesh. So that's what I think of this as well. I really noticed when you wear it that these because these are quite padded, the shoulders are quite padded. It's kind of got like Candace Everdeen vibes where she's like wearing a jacket with like slightly higher shoulders. That's kind of what it gives me, this jacket. So I really like the look of it. However, there is like a slight comfort issue. When it's zipped up, this bit here, this bit either side of the zip or the zipper really, these little bits kind of touch your neck and they kind of touch my neck here and it just gets quite irritating. Like it got to the point where I was like, oh, this is really annoying. So I tucked them in like this, but then they kept just like popping out. I'm sure you could like fix it in some way and I don't want to like completely corrupt Pierce of Sweden by saying this or anything. Like this is just like genuine what I think of the items. But that being said, that is an issue with this. I wouldn't not get it again, but I just wish these weren't super annoying. So, I don't know, I'm sure I could get like a piece of material and put it over this bit just so it's more comfortable, or I could just keep it unzipped all the time. But I do like the look of it when it's zipped up, like this, but it's just that those little bits just annoy you here like it kind of rubs there which is very annoying and also because it is quite high you can get like makeup on the insides of this so it's kind of like wearing when you're wearing a show shirt I'm right near the laundry so I have an example right here for you so when you wear a show shirt sometimes you'll get a bit of makeup on there this one's been washed so I don't know why there's still makeup on there but you get makeup here and you get it like right down here when you like have blended your makeup down your neck which is much better than not doing that but it just makes it like oh, uh -uh. like it just is a mess so yeah it also gets a bit of makeup on it but yeah that's what I think about those two items for about three times in two weeks so I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of video I'd love to do this sort of thing more but it really just depends on the demand for it so if you guys want to see me do any other brands let me know but that being said it costs a lot of money to do this sort of thing so I like to just do brands that I would personally want to buy the things from them and PS of Sweden was definitely that and I am really impressed with their stuff I don't think you guys shouldn't get it I was just kind of letting you know well, letting them know I guess even constructive criticism as well as what you guys could expect from their brand so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you next week bye